how about the coaches getting their faith rewarded by a touchdown? Here's Bosher to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Oh, a nice spin. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. They had that first half lead, but they have been shut down here in this third quarter, so time to retool a bit. And probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to really playing hard and effectively. Because a lot of times we think it's just play calls and this isn't working and they're shutting them down. Sometimes when you get a lead, you lose your edge. You don't play quite as hard. That's what they're looking for here. Trying to get that edge back as they've watched this lead shrink a little. They'll begin the drive with Collins. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. On second down, here's Jackson. Flushed out right. And that's off the mark, incomplete. It was Desmond Trufant right there, step for step in coverage. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The Ravens on third down. They've been near perfect, four for five to this point. This is third and nine. To throw is Jackson, operating from the gun. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. Jackson, from the gun, he'll throw. Flush to his right. And he's going to be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. Looking to throw on second down. Looking deep downfield. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half. Incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. To find him. Find him. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. Polluted. And he can't find a receiver. And he's brought down. Duke Riley able to drop him for a loss of two. And that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Sam Cook now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. And they had to go the length of the field last time out to get into the end zone. And with this starting field position, they're going to have to pretty much do it again. And I think the thought process going into it is, hey, if you have to be methodical, go ahead and do that. But what you really want are a couple of big plays. Eat up chunks of yardage and cut down the number of times you have to snap the football. Gun, gun, gun. Here we go. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got him pinned down deep. And on the first play, 
They give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. Ryan. And it's complete. Hooper. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. And a big 32-yard play on third. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. Ryan. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. Third down, Ryan. He may try and run for this. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? Eva, make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. On second down, Ryan. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. He'd had some success as a runner previously on this drive, just not as much space there that time. Yeah, this time when he pulled it down, they were ready for him. So I think he's going to have to fling a few in order to open up that running lane again. Here's Ryan. And that is incomplete. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, there in coverage. If you're a defender, one of the fun things about playing zone defenses, especially in today's football, is that it's not as static as it was in the good old days, meaning you just drop to a point and react into the football. Now you end up with a lot of man-to-man -man principles once you get into your zone defense. In other words, get to your assignment and then locate a guy coming into your area, and then you end up covering him almost man for man. That allows him to make more plays on the football like the one we just saw there. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. Tucker with the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. 